This is an exam talk through video and we're going to be looking at moments. Everybody's favourite topic and my cat is literally sitting on the iPad. Thanks, Lyra. Question three. A builder needs to lift a large stone block. Diagram one shows the stone block. Draw an X on diagram one at the centre of gravity of the stone block. So there's our centre of mass. State the formula linking weight, mass and gravitational field strength. Weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. Do feel free to write that out in full. The mass of the stone block is this. Calculate the weight. So we just do 130. Remember, gravity on Earth is 10. So that's 1,300 newtons. The builder uses a wooden platform to lift the large stone block. The plank is uniform and pivoted at its centre. The builder pushes down on one end of the plank to lift the stone block. Diagram 2 shows the plank when it is horizontal and stationary. State the principle of moments. So the principle of moments for two marks is that at equilibrium, clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments. The builder is pushing down with a force of 520 newtons to keep the plank horizontal. Calculate distance x. So let's write our principle of moments again, which is clockwise moments equals anti-clockwise moments. So we know that that clockwise moment is going to be his force, which is 520 newtons, times the perpendicular distance from pivot, which we've been asked to find, equals the anti-clockwise moment. So we know the weight, it was 1300 newtons, remember that's your force, times that perpendicular distance from pivot, which is 0 0.3 metres. So solve the right-hand side to get 390 equals 520x. Divide both sides by 520 to get a distance of 0 0.75 metres. Calculate the length of the plank. So that's 0 0.75. This is our plank. We know that this is in the middle, so it's two lots of 0 0.75, which is 1.5 metres. The diagram shows some of the forces acting on a large rubbish bin on wheels. The weight of the bin acts through point G. Give the name of point G, centre of mass. The mass of the bin is 23 kilograms. What is the weight? So you're using this equation, weight equals mass times gravitational force. So that's 230. Careful with those units. The unit of weight is newtons. So the answer here is C. State the principle of moments at equilibrium. Clockwise moments equals anti-clockwise moment. A person applies force F to the bin to keep it stationary. Calculate the magnitude of force F. I might do it up here just to show you. So there's our clockwise moments equals anti-clockwise moments. So what are our clockwise moments? Here's our pivot. In order to find moment, remember it's force times distance. So if we do our clockwise moment, it's our force which is actually our weight here that we just calculated, which is 230 newtons, times by that perpendicular distance from pivot, which is going to be 0 0.37 metres. Be careful with your units. We want that in metres, equals our anti-clockwise moment. So that's going to be force F, which is what we've been asked to find, times that perpendicular distance from pivot, which is 0 0.98. So I've just moved that working down for you so you can see it more clearly. Work out the left hand side by doing 230 times by 0 0.37 to get 85.1 equals 0 0.98x. Divide both sides by 0 0.98 so that x equals 86.8 to three significant figures. 
state the magnitude and direction of the force applied to the person by the bin. So remember that magnitude will be equal and opposite applied by the person, which is why, again, the answer is 86.8, but that direction will be acting downwards. This question is about a folding table. The diagram shows some of the forces acting on the table. The weight of the table acts through point G. State the name of point G. Again, center of mass. State the formula linking moment, force, and perpendicular distance from pivot. So moment equals force times perpendicular distance from the pivot. The moment of the weight force of the table about the hinge is 92 newton meters. By using the principle of moments, calculate the force S that a person applies to keep the table in equilibrium. So we've been told that this moment here is 92 newton meters. Make sure you read every word so that you actually understand what's going on. So that's going to be your clockwise moment. They're asking us to calculate force S, which is effectively our anti-clockwise moment. So let's just put clockwise moment equals anti-clockwise moment. So we know that that is 92 newton meters. Our anti-clockwise moment is force times perpendicular distance from pivot. So that's force S times 0 0.84. Divide both sides by 0 0.84 to find force S. That's 109. So 110 newtons to two significant figures. State Newton's third law. That is that every force has an equal and opposite reaction. State the magnitude and the direction of the force that the table applies to the person holding the table. So again, it's the same value as before, 110 newtons, and that direction will be down. The diagram shows a metal block on top of a wooden block. The metal block is held stationary by force F. So yeah, there's your anti-clockwise moment. There's your clockwise moment around G. The weight of the metal block acts through point G. Give the name of point G, center of mass. Name a piece of apparatus that could be used to measure the weight of the metal block. You want to mention balance here. State the formula linking moment, force and perpendicular distance from the pivot. The weight of the block is 0 0.8 newtons. Show that the moment of the weight of the metal block around point P is, is approximately 2.9 newton centimetres. So we don't need to sort out any units here because it's in terms of centimetres. So it says the weight of the metal block is 0 0.68 newtons. So to find that moment, we're going to do 4.3 times 0 0.68. And sure enough, that value is approximately 2.9 newtons. Force F is applied to the metal block to stop it moving. Calculate the magnitude of force F. So we're looking for this force F here, which remember I've already said is the anti-clockwise moment. So state the principle of moment. So that's clockwise moment equals anti-clockwise moment. We've just found that the clockwise moment is, well, they've told us it's 2.9. We're being asked to find force F. So we need to do that times its perpendicular distance from the pivot which is 11 centimetres. So divide both sides by 11 to find force F, 0 0.26 newtons.